Case DIY is a four in a row glam game. The items that you will need are two packages of wooden circles, two packages of felt pads, gold and silver diamond wrap, and gold and silver pearl wrap. You need a hot knife, gold and silver metallic paint, two 8x10 plastic picture frames, and then your hot glue gun and your glue sticks. Ready? Let's go! First step is going to be to paint your wooden circles. So in the two packages of your wooden circles, you're using the one and a quarter inch, which are the largest circles, and there should be um, 30 pieces for each color. Two pieces will make one game. After your pieces have dried, you're going to use one felt pad, which is sandwiched between two wooden circles of the same color. On one side of the felt pad will be adhesive, so you don't have to glue the other side with hot glue. Then you're going to take your trim and you're going to trim each of your double sided pieces with your diamond wrap in the corresponding color. The next step is the game grid. So you're going to take your two picture frames, remove the packaging, the paper, there is a film that is on top of it that you need to peel off. And you're going to be cutting with your hot knife and cutting off the, the end pieces of those, uh, the plastic. This should leave you with two pieces, one piece of rectangle of about eight by two and a half inches, and then a larger rectangle. Your larger rectangle is gonna be used to cut half inch strips with your hot knife. And here you can see I'm breaking off the pieces, I'm using the hot knife, and then I'm breaking off the half inch strips. You'll need eight of those strips. There's the hot knife here. I apologize that wasn't in view of the camera. So when you're done, you're going to have two 8x10 pieces and then you'll have the eight strips and you're going to take those strips and start gluing them to the ends. Well, you want to fix, measure out and make sure that your pieces are going to fit on there properly. So you're going to hot glue your two end strips. of the ends of one of your 8x10 pieces. And these will not be perfect. There will be gaps because your hot knife is going to leave a kind of a jagged cut. So there will be some gaps, but we're going to fix that later on. to place your game pieces on your front of your grid or lay it on the grid so that you can space out your dividers which will be these half inch strips that we've just created and you'll mark off your spaces to make sure that they can flow correctly for each of the lanes because you're basically creating lanes with these uh, half inch strips. going to hot glue them down based on the markings that you've put down. Uh, try to make them as straight as possible. Of course, you know, you're subject to human error, so it won't be perfect, but get them as straight as you can. And make sure they're even at both ends because you want to make sure that the pieces will be able to slide down without getting stuck. So make sure they're pretty straight and pretty even.
So here I've tested the top end, I've tested the bottom end. I've taken the second piece of the 8x10 and I'm placing it on top to make sure it's going to lay on there correctly. Then I'm adding the hot glue to the top end and to the bottom end. Um, if you can do it fast enough, you can go down each strip, but I'm not quick enough to do it that fast. So I just did it at the ends and then I hot glued the top and the bottom parts to the bottom part of the grid that's already been established. And I'm filling in as much as I can on the sides. Again, there will be gaps because of the cuts, the way the cuts are made. And here I was trying to determine how it's going to make the bottom piece. This is why I said make eight strips because you need two for the outsides and then that five in the middle for your lanes. And then at the bottom, I used one last strip to be the bottom piece. So that will leave some space at the bottom, but the pieces will not fall out because it's kind of stopping it from falling out. Here I'm gluing that bottom piece down to the bottom of the grid, that last strip. And I just put a little glue on each of the lanes so that it would adhere to that last strip. And then you can fill in as much as you can with the glue. Again, this is just preventing the pieces from falling out of the bottom. Removing any excess glue that may have stuck on there. And try to do that as you go so that once you get all the pieces together, you won't have pieces that you can't get to when you're um, when it's once it's all adhered together. Here I'm just testing, making sure each of the lanes work. The pieces are going in; they're not falling out. And now comes the bottom or the stand. So when you cut your side piece off, you are left with a piece that's eight by two and a half inches, and this is the piece that I use to be the bottom stand. You want to make sure that the grid will balance on there correctly so kind of keep testing it until you get it in a position that it will balance correctly and you want it to be in the center of your eight by two and a half inch rectangle then I just hot glued that down and here you see that now I'm going again I there were going to be gaps on the side so we're, how we're going to correct that is with our pearl wrap and what I did was each side would have its own color. So one side you'll do your gold pearl trim and then the other side you'll do your silver pearl trim. So you measure out your trim, make sure you have the right length, cut it out. I use two rows and just did the corners and it uh, hot glued these two rows to the corner and again I did the same thing with the silver the two rows uh, measured it out and adhered it to the corners on the silver side Now for your, your base, um, you can decorate it however you wish. I just took the trim, took one row of each of the colored pearl wraps and just made a, another rectangle around those sides. Um, you can fill it in any kind of way you want. If you have other gold trim or uh, whatever other embellishments you may want to put on there, you could do that. But this is the way I did it. I just took one one row of the pearl wrap and kind of made a, a long rectangle on each side.
your final product. So here are the pieces in each of their lanes. Um, you have your stand. It, can, it should be able to stand on its own without any uh, wobbling. And you can slide your pieces in and out. And you know, to um, remove your pieces is basically flipping everything upside down and letting them all fall out. But there's the grid without any pieces in it. And here is just a slight example of how it's going to look once you start playing the game. And here's an example of a diagonal win. So again, here is your final product. Hope you enjoyed this DIY. Please be sure to like to share and if you have any comments please let me know thank you and see you again next time